what made you decide to take the leap into reaching people on TikTok? How did you get started? Yeah, so I got started on TikTok a little over a year ago in late August 2019, for anyone watching this uh, to give context. And it really was just because growth on Instagram had plateaued and because all of my previous businesses had been built on the success of our social media efforts, I knew that I had to go find another platform, not necessarily to switch to and to stop being on Instagram, but another one where we could continue to grow and reach new audiences and build our brand. So I, I went on TikTok, tried posting a couple of the pieces and videos from like my personal glass blowing brand and those immediately got taken down because they were smoking related and so I, I realized right away that TikTok was very very sensitive to anything um, that would be content that not um, a lot not of kid friendly maybe or yeah a lot of parents would want their kids looking at um, and so I started posting glass blowing videos from other artists and some of my friends in the soft glass industry because the there's soft glass and there's borosilicate for people who don't know. Soft glass is the kind where there's a, a giant furnace. Um, you've got really long metal poles. You're sticking it in the furnace, getting these big gathers of glass. Usually there's multiple people working on a single piece. What I do is borosilicate, which is with a tabletop torch. So there's no big furnace. I just have a, a torch on my bench um, that shoots a very hot flame. And I do all of my work in directly in the flame. There's no taking it out of the flame and then like manipulating it afterwards. So soft glass is much, much better for video because it stays molten and hot and pliable for much longer. So I just started testing out and seeing, you know, what if I, I post this type of content? And that's what made it really take off for me um, right away as I hit on, I think, uh, a visual um, aspect that people were really interested in. Also, I was kind of one of the first glass blowers on TikTok, so it was just very new and exciting to the audience that was on the platform where they'd never really seen glass blowing before. And instead of really thinking about how do I promote like my existing brand and business, I just said, you know, let me tap into this new thing I've discovered. I don't know where it's gonna lead, but I can tell it's gonna be good because I'm getting millions of views and that's better than me me trying to sell um, my own products. Let me just see where this goes. So I kind of just rode the wave of, of momentum um, that I was able to identify through the algorithm and through testing and analyzing my, my own posts. And that's how I got here today pretty much. Well, I think it's really important that we're trying new things. Like you had mentioned, it's it's almost inevitable that every social media platform goes through this life cycle where you can get serious, incredible organic reach like you could and still can to an extent on TikTok, but eventually it starts to plateau. Um, and we've seen this happen with Facebook. We've seen this happen with MySpace, Twitter, all these different platforms, Instagram included. I'm curious, the skills that you developed in working with Instagram, did they transfer directly over to TikTok or did you find like, oh crap, I need to relearn a whole new set of skills? No, absolutely. I think a, a large part of my success on TikTok was from the fact that I'd spent, you know, eight years on Instagram first and mm. really developed a good understanding of what visually connected with people. Uh, because even though TikTok has a music component, even though there's all these different aspects and components to it, the visual aspect is by far the most important. And if you can get your visuals engaging, like people are going to want to watch your video. So I was it able seems to very translate different, that though. from Instagram. It seems very different though, right? Because Instagram is a lot of still shots, right? You're not seeing as yeah. much video, whereas TikTok is, is exclusively video to an extent. Did you feel like you had to evolve or try new things or did you feel like yeah. because of the the product and that you were delivering with the the glass blowing it just translated so so perfectly what are your thoughts yeah, I mean, it was a, a bit of both. Um, a lot of the elements from a picture do translate to a video, especially when it comes to glass and just having to understand how the lighting um, mm. aspect works in the video and in, in the picture. So, so that was very helpful. Also, again, color and color saturation. So it's not just about which colors you're choosing. It's about how saturated those colors are um, and how much our eye is gravitating towards any of those colors. And so with video, the extra element there is movement compared to a, a picture. And so I was just paying attention to, and I had to learn and pay attention about how are my eyes moving in a video and what does that mean 
um, when mm. I translate that to if I liked the video, if it was engaging, the impact that it had on me. So I was paying attention to little things like that that I, I didn't notice on Instagram. So like eye movement, um, you know, duration of the video, like how long of a video do I naturally want to pay attention to? Uh, when do I start noticing that it's boring or at least start noticing that there's a time factor in watching the video? And then also what are the things that would grab my attention at the beginning of the video? So those were all things that I had to experiment with and learn through using TikTok. And I would say I'm much, much better as a marketer today than I was a year ago because of TikTok and just using the app has allowed me to notice and pay attention to and learn a lot of new factors when it comes to marketing. Really smart, very, very smart. These, these 15 second video clips are just catching fire. You're seeing them on every single platform. And that's, I think, a floodgate, if you would, that TikTok has released. All these companies see TikTok having massive success. I mean, LinkedIn adopted stories recently, YouTube, you can do 15 second clips. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you enjoyed this episode. I've got several other episodes right here for you. Smash one of these videos to make sure that you don't miss out on the tips, tools, and tactics of industry experts. Let's take that side hustle full time. Smash one of these links.